Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of Tales from the Crypt Season 2. Last episode we watched Four Sided Triangle, which was gross, in like a really just seedy way. I really enjoyed the episode, especially reflecting back on it. It's still a good episode and I still enjoyed the events of the episode. But like the events of it just made me feel uncomfortable all the way throughout. And I'm still unsure whether she was actually insane, if it was a plan. I read something online which suggested that she was just insane. But then still at the end of the episode when... That she'd killed them and she was like, yay, we've escaped, we're free. Like, I don't know, there was something to me that hinted that might have been a plan, but I could just be reading way too much into it and nothing. This episode is called The Ventriloquist's Dummy. Now, now, I've seen quite a number of things throughout my life or read books and stuff about dummies that come to life. So, like Goosebumps, there's Slappy the Dummy, who's the Ventriloquist Dummy, who comes to life and tries to, like, enslave people to be his slaves. That doesn't really succeed ever, but, but he tries. Oh, we've got a dummy, like, in Buffy, the Sid the Dummy, who, spoiler alert for one episode in season one, but is a dummy that appears to be evil, but it turns out it's actually a hunter trapped in a dummy's body, and it's actually a good thing. So, it's a ventriloquist dummy, it's usually a bad sign, they're normally quite creepy, so I'm excited to see what route the episode goes down. Uh, let me know down below if you enjoy the series, if you enjoy these reactions, and if you're watching, and yeah, let's just start some comments down below. It'd be nice to talk to you about the episode and maybe get some discussion going about theories and things like that. So let's jump into season two, episode 10 of Tales from the Crypt, Ventriloquist Dummy. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for the rest of season two. Good evening, dear fans. You're just in time. Contents, one ventriloquist dummy, Hackme Novelty Company, Hackme Novelty Battle Company, Shriek, Michigan. <laughs> oh, goody. Watch this, kiddies. Okay. You won't see my lips move. Looks fairly standard. You know why? I don't have any. <laughs> now I can dole out a diseased little ditty about the schizophrenic nature of showbiz and how to hack your way to the top. So grab hold of your guts, kiddies. Cause tonight you get to rob okay. elbows with the ventriloquist's dummy. Looks like the dummy might be a killer or someone's used it to be a killer, I don't know. Ducks and geese. But I can't tell the difference between ducks and geese. It's very easy. Ducks go quack quack. Understand? <laughs> and geese go honk honk. If a pack of birds fly over okay. and they go honk honk, what do you do? Pull over and let them pass. <laughs> I mean, the jokes are fine. <laughs> what are you, seals? That's one of my big ones. And the fat guy better laugh. How's the food in this place, eh? Don't eat. I brought my girl here for dinner last night, okay. and she found a bug in her soup. Oh, that's terrible. What happened? She yelled, waiter, remove this insect at once. And? The guy threw me out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, huh, lady? The old broad came this kid's alive. loving it. Jeez. Um, yeah, it, 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 I'm sure it's a fun show. Stop coughing when I'm delivering funny lines. I never eat anything that comes from an animal's mouth. Well, then... How about some eggs? Oh, oh wise guy, I'm what do you think? Really get it. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up, Billy? A ventriloquist, just like you. Nonsense. He wants to be a doctor, don't you, Billy? <laughs> hey, Bill. Anytime <laughs> you need any advice or tips, feel free to look me up. Okay, kid? <laughs> Golly, Mr. Ingalls. Thanks. Not long. It's lovely. Let's go. <laughs> that woman. We still got our date, don't we? I know this great little after hours joint. Love the little orange number. Well. What do you mean you're not feeling very well? Don't listen to him, baby. He's never felt better. Let's go. <laughs> and where are you going to take me to? How about our bungalow, toots? <laughs> we'll show you our etchings. <laughs> you are so cute. Is that him? What's going on? Fifteen years later. Okay, it's not what I expected. We're here. Uh, Come on, Tim. Uh, wow. Where are we? Is this? Hi, Bobcat. <laughs> Until you talk to me. Hi, my name is Tim. 
So he's spent his whole life becoming a bad ventriloquist. Come on, I'm, I'm Billy Goldman. Uh, you said I could look you up. Oh, yeah? Well, um, it was 15 years ago. I, I was 11 years old. Oh, he's got a memory like an elephant. Uh, how lucky can you get? I was there. I, I saw your last performance. How was I? Oh. Uh -huh. You were, well, you were great. You... Hey, don't touch that. Leave it alone, will you? He's retired, like me. What is it with you? What do you want from me? Showgirl dies in tragic resort fire. Oh, the girl died. Injured. Hmm. I lost everything that night. Everything. Couldn't you operate on um, Morty when you left here? Left, left, left. That's good for opening doors and swatting flies. This is the hand that had the magic in it. Why did you come, huh? What's going on? Tomorrow is uh, amateur night at the oh. nautical club. Oh, he wants to go. wanted my go. first time in front of an audience. To but dude, if anything like you were at the door, you were terrible. I was hoping that maybe you could come by and uh, and give me uh, your critique. You know? Ever since I saw you that night, you've been my idol. Because of you, all I've ever wanted to be is a ventriloquist. Oh. I gotta know if I've got what it takes. Only you can tell me that. Oh, wow. oh my god, he actually came. He's here. He's nice here. that he's come. But he's gonna come just to watch him bomb. That's gonna be awkward. Tim and Billy. Uh, he started his act. Oh, I can't watch this. I just a fucking girl with the tits. I just recently flew in from New Jersey. And my eyes are tight. so cringy. Don't be horrible, swear, be shit. Don't boo him. The worst thing you can ever do to someone with mental health. When they're trying to shoot them down. We have a special guest in the audience. Uh, a, a man who, without any doubt, is probably the world's greatest ventriloquist. Oh, poor guy. You know, you're kind of cute. <laughs> you look like my grandfather. I have a special today on family members. Well, Sorry. You changed your mind. <laughs> I'm down there. It was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't terrible. Yeah, it was. Okay, it was terrible. You had no technique, no concentration, and no material. I would say teach you had no idea how to work the audience. But... Billy, I suggest you look for another line of work. It's not going on with that hand yeah. under the Listen, blanket. Um, thanks for trust. coming down. And, um... Oh, but no, because she might die. Because the last lady he got close to died. I'm presuming his dummy killed her. Dummy. No, it's that lady. <gasps> oh, she is dead. What's under his hand? Blanket. You killed that woman tonight, didn't you? Well, yeah. How do you know that? Don't lie to me, old man. You killed her. No. You stick of gasoline. You tried to set a fire to cover it up, just like that other woman fifteen years ago. How do you know? I set those fires, but I never killed any of those people. Who killed her? Who killed her, Morty? Who? Here we go. Morty, what are you saying? I'm crazy? Split personality? That I hear voices in my head in the middle of the night? Yeah, all the above, yeah. but probably not. Probably. I think not. you better go now. Maybe his. Before Morty tries to hurt you. 
Morty can't hurt me. He, he, he's made of cloth and wood. He isn't real. He's constructed of wood and cloth. Some wires, some cables. He has no mind. No soul. And no head. Huh? His head's under the... Yeah. That's not what I expected. We decided on a career in show business. Yeah, we decided to put our heads together. That's a joke, son. I don't see you laughing. <laughs> <gasps> oh my jeez. Yes, I kept them drugged up. What are you gonna do? Talk in the dark? <laughs> He's funny, though, that little guy. He's gonna chop his own brother off, surely, at some point. <laughs> yes! Should've done that years ago, mate. Especially when he killed that woman. Oh, there's that line's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Colorize the wound. Oh. Oh, Contrea, my friend. I'm the one who's finally free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ugh. Oh, that was. Oh, let me go a bit sick. I love this little guy. The floorboard. Smacking. A valley for the Chris. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's killing me. I'll do anything you want. Ah, anything. Anything? Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's going to use him to become like a really fun act. And now, direct from Las Vegas, yeah. here's Morty and Billy. It's showtime, folks. Hubba yow. What a tomato. Morty, um. About the telescope, did you discover any other new heavenly bodies that night? You bet your ass. Feast your eyes on her. Hey, baby, what are you doing after the show? <laughs> Dying. That's right. The ladies are off limits. Now cut this shit or I'm going to shoot her right back into that meat grinder. I think you're going to find that a little difficult. Yeah. Not to mention ah. painful. What are you doing? Renegotiating our deal, ah. partner. Oh. Ah. Is that merging with his head? hand? Thought so. Looks like we're stuck with each other. <laughs> Don't know how that makes any sort of sense. What do you say, folks? But okay. Billy deserves a big hand, don't you think? Oh well. Next time somebody tells Billy he's no dummy, he can say, "Wanna bet?" <laughs> ah! Okay, guys, that was my reaction to season two, episode ten of Tales from the Crypt: The Ventriloquist Dummy, and. Let's just say the episode took turns that I was not expecting. I've only just realised now as well, I have my glasses on the whole time. I don't usually wear my glasses for recording because of that reason. Like you can see the light that I use, the little light. Um, so I apologise if it's been a lot of glare throughout. I didn't even notice it at the beginning. But yeah, the episode took some turns that I did not expect at all. So I'll be honest, from the first 10 minutes of the episode, I wasn't particularly enjoying it all that much. I didn't care about these two guys. It was a bit drab, a bit dreary, and here's a guy who's a grumpy old man now, 
because he's no longer got a career. Here's this dude who's useless but looks up to him. He's horrible to him. He's useless at being a ventriloquist. And it was fine, but I was waiting for the twist about the dummy. And realistically, even though it's called the ventriloquist dummy, if you actually think about it, the dummy is not the main villain of the episode, I suppose. It's this conjoined twin brother arm thing, which he hid behind a ventriloquist dummy face so that he could become famous and they could have like some sort of act. But what the dummy was doing, or the brother was doing, was killing any woman that got close to the guy. I don't know how he got that far in life without chopping that brother off or without a doctor doing something about it because I feel like a doctor would maybe remove it. Or, like, if you can never get close to a woman or to anybody, fair enough, you can live a whole life without a relationship, without sex, whatever. But just to have that kind of person, entity, personality attached to you for 50-odd years, maybe, in his 50s, I don't know, 40s, would be so hard to live with. I don't know how he didn't get rid of it earlier. But it was a really cool twist because I was expecting it to just be, here's a dummy, the dummy's alive. But no, it really turned out to be, whilst the dummy was sort of alive in the sense that, like, the... <laughs> I don't know where it. Um, the person that was masquerading as the dummy, at least the first dummy, the, the older guy, was alive because it wasn't a dummy ever. It was his twin brother, conjoined blob of an arm. <laughs> um, it wasn't as I anticipated. So the twist was really good and I didn't see it coming. And I really enjoyed like, the last half of the episode. Once I found out about the brother and he was cracking all these jokes and trying to kill Bobcat Goldthwait's character and <laughs> and just that last half was just fun and zany and kind of... It went from a really serious kind of depressing episode about these ventriloquists, one who's past it, one who's rubbish at being one, to an episode about this fun conjoined twin who's trying to murder someone and then the other twin chops it off but it's still alive somehow and it chases after them one guy dies the other guy tries to kill it and then it when it is about to get killed itself in a meat grinder it agrees to be part of an act again to help the guy i mean i like a twist that even when it's a bit over the top kind of there's some sort of logic to it and i can sort of agree there's this entity that's lives on its own, even though it's chopped it off, it can still sort of live, even though that's doesn't make sense. I can kind of buy that. I don't really understand how it managed to fuse itself back with the arm. I felt that's like a stretch too far, but I just need to kind of put that kind of logic out of my brain and just enjoy it for what it was. And I loved the brother, the little guy. He was so cute <laughs> and so funny, like when he was like running around the floor and just cracking jokes and stuff. I really liked him. I thought his personality was funny and... Yeah, I enjoyed it. Like I said, the episode was good. I don't think it's ever going to be like in my top episodes of the season. Purely because the first half I didn't really like. I liked a bit of a mystery of what's going to happen. Is it the dummy? Is it the guy? But I think it was just very slow. I looked at the time at one point. I was like, oh, okay, we're only halfway through. But like when it, the last half was really good. So I get it balances out a little bit. But yeah. Interesting. Let me know down below, guys, what you think of season two, episode ten, the Ventrilo Crystal Me, down in the comments below. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Well, at least the last half. Or did you love all of it? Or did you think it was a really bad episode? Please let me know down below. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, my name is Scott. Hope you guys are well, taking care of yourselves and staying safe. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below what your thoughts are. Subscribe to my channel for the rest of season two of Tales from the Crypt, and I'll see you soon for the next video. Bye guys, take care.